Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, this time I'm pleased to report that the sun is shining, my PV panels are nicely generating away and my battery is, is charging nicely, which makes a real change from the last few videos where um, it's been chucking it down with rain and not much has been happening. Um, so we're now um, in the first week of April and pretty much to the day it's 12 months in since uh, I had my system installed last year. So I was thinking to myself, um, I wonder how much I've saved in terms of money over the last 12 months and whether the system is actually, um, you know, helping me achieve what I wanted to do, which was to, to save money. And at what point am I likely to break even on the investment that I made in it? I was originally thinking when I bought the system and again, you know, speaking to the sales guy at the time, who we know perhaps didn't give me the full truth on a number of things, I was thinking I would break even in sort of six to eight years. Um, and I was wondering how I was, you know, looking on, on that front. Now, I was trying to think of a, the, the best ways to, to quantify how I could work this out. Um because there's been the number of changes in the last year, you know, like the unit price of electricity has changed. So I couldn't really do the calculations based on on the cost of a unit because what I was paying then isn't what I was paying now. And I've changed tariffs a couple of times in the, in the meantime to try and optimize my system. So I've literally done some, some really basic calculations on the number of units of electricity that I've bought, generated and so on, which I'll go through in a moment. Um, and I've used a, a fixed rate um, unit cost, which is what I was paying when um, I took, or you know, when the system went in. So I'm just going to, yeah, quickly run through how I've made those calculations. Feel free to put comments on video if you think there's a better way I could have done this, or if you know if you're doing this yourselves and um, yeah, you've got a, a more optimal way of doing it. Um, because um, I only got Home Assistant up and running sort of middle of last year, I haven't got a full 12 months worth of data uh, in my energy dashboard. Um, so, you know, if I look at um, my annual stats for this year, it looks pretty good um, because it's been running all year. But if I go back to last year, it's um, it's miles out. And I think I've got a couple of statistical anom anomalies that I need to go and fix, which I know you can do. Uh, within the developer tools and stats but I haven't quite got around to that yeah if you look my battery uh, charge figure is is way off um, so uh, this will come as a little bit of a surprise but um, I've used Solace Cloud to generate my reports and actually for historical reporting like I touched on in my last video it's, it's actually pretty good for this um, so if you go into Solace Cloud and you can click over on the little report uh, icon on the left there you can run some uh, annual reports for your system. And actually the, the data it gives uh, is pretty good. And I've I've done some um, sort of correlation between what I've got here and what's in, in Home Assistant. So if I select my time frame as 2023, uh, I can see my total yield is, um, sorry, my annual yield is what I'm looking for, 586 uh, kilowatts. And if I look on my energy dashboard for this year, 585.5. So I know that, you know, the data is pretty reliable, uh, which, OK, I mean, after all, it's all coming from the same space, isn't it? So um, that's uh, that's OK. So what I've done is for 2022 and 2023, I've just run this report and I've got the, um, the annual import, the annual export and the annual yield from each of uh, each of those reports and it's really easy to change you can just you know step through and um, you know pull those pull those figures out and I've just popped them into Excel so for last year so you know that was April to December my um, solar yield was you know 3028 kilowatts I imported 1154 and exported 118 and the figures for this year are um, 586 PV yield. We're only in April. Um, as I may have mentioned, the weather's not been great, so it's not been uh, it's not been doing a lot until the last couple of weeks. There's my import and export as well, and I've literally just put in you know some really basic formulas to total those up. 
So my really simple maths um, was my self-used PV yield is literally my total yield for those 12 months minus what I've exported, um, which I think seems logical. That's 3,396 kilowatts. Now, when I put the system in last year, I was on an EDF tariff because um, I was brought over from utility point and I was paying the max cap rate at 33.86 pence a unit. So uh, in theory, um, that number times 33.86 pence is the amount of um, money in value, you know, monetary value that I've generated off my panels. So 1149 pounds. Now I know that it is a bit of a, um, a finger in the air, if you like, a bit of a guess, because since, um, say, since having my system installed, I did have a period when I was on Agile. Um, but in fact, for the majority of the time that I was on Agile, the rate didn't move off 33.86. Anyway, and since December, I've been on Economy 7, where I've got the dual rate. So it's like 45p or 46p during the day and 16p overnight. So obviously, I try and use almost nothing during the day and charge the batteries overnight when the weather's not good. Um, I've also, um, at the moment, my export tariff is Agile Export. Um, I've no idea what the actual unit rates are for that because I have to look it up in an app on my phone and I just never never do that. Um, but I've sort of averaged it at seven and a half pence a unit. So I've probably earned about 16 pounds from my export according to those figures. So you know, in total, I've probably, um, in theory, saved, oh, I should have done this before. Um, £1,166 over the last 12 months. Um, so that's, that's pretty vague. Um, if anyone has any suggestions on how I could improve that or, or make it more accurate without spending loads and loads of time, on uh, going through my bills and working out exactly what I've used, then, then feel free to comment. Um, given that my, you know, the initial outlay for my system, I'm now, you know, into it for about fourteen thousand pound. I think the um, the initial install was about twelve thousand, um, which was ten four hundred fifty five watt panels, my three and a half k inverter or three point six k inverter, and 10.2k of Fox ESS batteries. I've since put on another battery in um, early January, which was about another £2,000. So I, you know, I, I roughly estimate that I'm sort of £14,000-ish into this system. Um, so at that current rate, um, going to take me 12 years to pay it back uh, or for it to break even now I know that's um, yeah that's probably not particularly accurate because um, again since putting the system in I've swapped to economy 7 which means I can sort of capitalize on the cheap overnight rate electricity so I'm actually making savings that aren't being reflected in the spreadsheet which I'll need to commit some time to working out how to to sort of quantify that um, and also I need to do that sort of really after 12 months which will be um, December January time but um, as always yeah you know thank, thanks very much for watching I hope this has been of, um, of some interest so I, I, I do like to receive your comments um, any any feedbacks welcome if there's anything you'd like me to um, to go through then then by all means please um, yeah make, make your suggestions thanks very much bye